What's wrong with the way I dress? Good evening, everyone. It's kind of burnt. I'm kind of burnt. I think this is going to be the last game for the night for me. I'm getting kind of sleepy, and I'm getting kind of introspective. Not a good combination. I'm going to play one last scary game for the night. I don't know why I'm posing. This one looks kind of cool, actually. I'm a big fan of throwback games when they're done right, and this one looks like the throwback of throwbacks. I don't know much about this game. I like going into games pretty much blind, but from what I've seen on Alpha Beta Gamer, it looks kind of interesting. So it's called Island Getaway. <laughs> On July 18th, 1986, three friends visited the Clacko? Clayco Island Resort and Spa. What was meant to be a quiet retreat in the islands turned into something far more sinister. <laughs> I like the little... I should really find the resort first. I was trying to talk, so you can hear that little generative walking theme. But this, the, the, I, you can tell what I meant by like a throwback. So it's arrow keys. Let's see what's there. This okay. Clacko Clayco Island and Resort East Beach South Cr Crow Thought Thought Yeah I probably don't want to know, do I? You know, usually the further inland you go, there's there's you know less sand, but that's just me. A shell? I don't know whether to feel accomplished or not. I'm fine. There's definitely not urine in my pants. Is that a crab? Chill out, crab. I don't even like shellfish all that much. Oh, hey! My friends, maybe? Hey! Look who finally decided to show up! Seriously, we've been waiting forever! Sorry guys, I... Saw a crab! Well, that doesn't matter now. Yeah, what matters is getting you inside the resort. You must be tired. Go on in, we'll be right behind you. Uh, okay. Odd behavior, friends of mine. Okay. Well, I do need to relax. Famous last words, by the way. I'll be right behind you. I'll be sure to write a beautiful eulogy for the both of you. Um, hello? Why do you look like... Nightmare fuel. Hello, welcome to Clacko Clayco Island and Spa. You're just so close to being Cloaca and I'm not comfortable with it. Hi, I booked a room. Uh, I think it was room one... Room 102. It's been waiting for you. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, I guess. It's very cool. Very, very cool. All right, this, what the hell's going on on this island resort? Yeah, exactly. Anyways, here's your key. Your room is down the hall. You'll find your key to the spa in your room, right next to the severed head I left on your bed. I encourage you to go to the spa. You look tired. Okay. You sure know how to reward a guy. Okay, Krabby, where are you gonna jump out of? 
Live, laugh, lattes. That's a crab. I have a feeling that my neighbor and I are gonna come to blows. Okay, I guess this is my room or whatever. It's pretty nice. I have a bed. You didn't expect to have a bed? And a, a crab. If your hotel or resort comes with crabs, it's not, I repeat, it is not a feature. You tell management and they get the tiny combs out. I guess I should go check out that spa or whatever. I do feel pretty tired. Might be refreshing or something. Okay. feeling of powerlessness when that happens. I can't move. I can't do anything but just stand there and wait for, to be attacked by crabs. Ooh, I freaking told you. Should I go in there? They told me to go in the spa, but I'm kind of curious. Watch me dead. Watch me dead real good. Hmm, looks like someone left behind a key card. Calco? Now we're just spelling it different. Calco Island Resort and Spa Gold Member. What a narc. Time to get refreshed. Wait, you can't go in there yet. What? Oh. Mrs. Cla Miss Clacko, you look like a demon straight out of hell, do you know, Pinhead? Be because I'd like to meet him. And you cannot go in that spa in those clo- I'm barely wearing anything, lady. You're wearing more clothes than I am. Go to your room and change into the island resort bathrobe. And then you can relax in the exquisite spa. Well, just uh, complete 180 on s when you're selling your spa. Um, okay, like, sure. You look so... Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm getting pretty tired of your attitude. The Yelp review will not be kind. Make me change in my back. I'm just, I'm in my shorts. What's wrong with the way I dress? No. I. Are you gonna make me do this? Are you make me do this? Crab suit? Crab people, crab people. I don't wanna do this. Okay, here I go. I think I've made a huge mistake. And I think you're next. I agree with this sentiment. Why? Why am I dressed like every protagonist from a 70s era sci-fi movie? Shouldn't have done this. Oh, well. Concierge is gone. Fine, I'll leave a complaint on the internet. Oh, boy. Hey, look, friends! This is such a great spa. I really need this island getaway. Your brain could be like an... Your brain could be an island. It could be, Steve, but it's not. In what way could it be an island? Like its own sovereign nation? I'm starting to think it's a good idea. But that 
pesky brainstem makes it a peninsula. Oh, dear. You know, no man is an island. I would rather be a peninsula. <laughs> Wouldn't you like your mind to be an island? <laughs> right now, maybe. You're drunk. I was so tired before coming here. But now I'm refreshed. I feel great. What is wrong with your face? I'm not being rude. What's wrong with your face? Our bodies could be islands floating surrounded by space. I think you're thinking of asteroids? But our feet keep us tied down. It's more gravity's fault. I am not an island. I really needed this spa day. Yeah, it's really relaxing. Yeah, I feel totally refreshed. Okay. Ah, nope! You're gonna make me talk to the crab people? Oh, good God, give me the calm, give me the fearless firmness of the unyielding sea. <laughs> the old desert, desert, rise up, sea, oh, brooding deserts, rise up. This is great poetry. Sea, oh, stillness, rise up. Take thy shroud of dead flesh and stop this endless pump that ye call a heart. Oh, weirdly effective. This day is the end and yet there is still further to fall. Endless sea, oh endless sea. Is this a quote? Are you referencing something or is this like like something if if you wrote this very nice very effective steve you've changed i think i don't i don't know if i can be your friend anymore and he the sea king in his moments of delirium and madness and nigh off half mad loneliness and quaking silvers comes out of his navel at last Wagging his dripping and rat-clawed fingers. Spouting for breath and filling with rage yells. My old soul, sad and the head of a large red cod, has slumbered in the sandy depths of the ocean for eons without food or drink or but a cloud of ravenous crows. What do you know about crows? When have you seen crows in the ocean for eons? And now you fill my mouth with those evil seashells. I'm starting to think that this was all a pretense to just get me to come to some poetry reading for crabs. I mean, I would have come if you'd just asked. I like poetry readings. And one of his foreheads is slotted into your mouth, compressing your jaws, pinching and squeezing in pain and then in and then pleasure. And when the vile taste of your face festers with the rot of ye, while ye weep, though your eyes can see nothing but the oblivion of un unearthly waters, he reaches down the black cavern of his belly up the savage shelled sump in his throat and pokes out a yellow and brittle yellow e and brittle tongue. The cockles of his fetid mouth spitting up his putrid wretchedness. Close. I don't like that at all. Take a sip from his cup. You have chosen poorly. Oh, around.
<laughs> oh, come on, Invisible Wall. Can't you see what a scam this is? I'm just waiting for one of them to ask for my social security number. This is bullcrap. Oh, they're gonna make me buy a condo. Fine, I'll drink your dang grape juice. Drinking, drinking a strange cup offered to you by people that you don't know. Crab or not, this always ends well, right? Yep, I feel refreshed. Are you feeling it yet? Oh, I think he's feeling it! I'm feeling something! It's called terror! Yeah, boy, I'm a crab! It's a screensaver of nightmares. Okay. Are you... Are you... Are you the Lovecraftian crab god that I've been hearing so much about? I have some concerns. There's no towels in my bathroom, for one. Ah, uh, second of all, I don't have a bathroom. Where am I going? Where <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, oh, oh my god, 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 I don't like it, 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 I don't want it, please go away, please go away, I'm not, I was, I can't, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope, uh-uh, I'm not gonna get away, am I, I'm on the beach, I'm getting away, I'm swimming, I'm, Thank you for coming. Despite making it to waters and escaping Clacko Island, besides his offering to the brine fell short. They swam for an entire day before their arms and legs suddenly boiled. On summer nights, the children of Clacko Island hear a wailing from the black water and the shadow of terrible fins and flailing arms. Wavering fleshy bones and swinging and a swinging tongue. They can see it. They can hear it Ending two out of three shells found one out of three. Oh You just got a lot more interesting. I Think you warrant a few more playthroughs Where am I? First of all, that was pretty effective, not gonna lie. I like that quite a bit. Um, not a fan of this, though. Crab. You go away. I will put you in a pot. Get away from that, yes sir! It's for gold members only. I know where to find a gold member's card. Screw you in particular. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm gonna see what's behind that door. It better be food. I'm uh, I'm kind of hungry, and I I would like. I would like an endless buffet, please. Gold-plated crab statues. That's close to what I asked for. <laughs> what? Okay. Ah, uh, it's a puzzle. I've played Zelda. <laughs> All right. That's two shells. That's weird. The door. 
door's locked. Oh, crap. Okay, so I don't feel like there was any other place that I could have gone outside to look for shells, really. Everything was kind of blocked off by invisible walls. So I feel like it's got to be in here somewhere. And I feel like... She's going to come blundering in here and tell me to go get in my suit. I'm not going to get into that suit. You jump up your own suit. Oh, what? Man. Are you not going to let me do it? Crap. Oh, I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I'm probably not going to be able to get a different... Well, I'm not going to be able to get the ending I intended. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink from this cup. But I think I'm going to let myself die. And I'm going to see if that's... That's probably one of the three endings. Okay, Krabby, let's get this over with. This third seashell isn't here, is it? Guess not. into the ocean and face the dread god B-side was that's me, B-sides was torn limb from limb their family will never know what happened to them residents of Clayco Island say that they do not have a resort or spa at night they will hear faint snipping and congealed cracking and think nothing of it alright that's ending one of three <laughs> yes how do I get out of you? Don't like crabs. Okay, last try. I don't like looking up cheats and walkthroughs and stuff, but this this one seems a little bit too well hidden, so I had to resort to some uh Every time. Okay. I was right to assume there was something here, but I didn't press hard enough. I didn't futz around hard enough. Yeah. So, third shell. Second shell. This game. This playthrough. Dun 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 And a third shell. This is supposed to say love. If if I had just put my two brain cells together and made them work as a team, I would have known. Okay, so I'm assuming I can't get out of the building. So I've got to put this on. Yay, sippy cup of dome. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, I can't move. I can't move. I can't do anything. God? Poseidon? Oh. Finding their offer acceptable, the brine welcome B-side into the infinite sea. That's me. They will live forever in the terrifying and beautiful infinite black waves. On autumn mornings, their family will hear a gurgling in their walls. Ending three of three. Shells found. Three of three. Oh. Wow. Island getaway. Indeed. That was uh, kind of what I hoped it would be. I don't want to make too many comparisons because it's not really fair, but I expected it to be something along the lines of uh, the Faith games, or um, I believe it was Puppet Combo recently that put out a, um, a full-on horror version of the Snowman game that used to play on Windows 98. I was kind of hoping it would be something along those lines. I just didn't know what it would be, and it didn't disappoint. It was simple. Simple to control, that is. So you could be enamored and involved, and I appreciated that. I've made a habit of playing graphically modest games on the channel, sort of by accident. It wasn't really on purpose. I've sort of not gone outside of it because I'm not sure if my capturing software is going to be able to handle anything more ambitious yet. I'm still working out the kinks. This was probably the most graphically simplistic so far, and it's interesting that it is still able to be effective, and I never really had any doubts. The medium isn't the problem. It's the effectiveness of the story and the, and the storyteller. You can throw a huge budget at something. You can use state-of-the-art tech. You can do everything you can to make this huge budgeted thing and it can still suck. Just be dead on arrival. But sometimes you can take something really small, really modest, and you can make something really special. You can do a lot with a little. I am very much of that camp. At least I try to be. And I am super duper appreciative of stuff like that, especially when you're able to pull it off like that. And I think Island Getaway did. I think it was uh, spooky. I think it was very literary. It gave off vibes of Lovecraft. I hate that I always have to come back to that because horror d doesn't begin and end with Lovecraft. But uh, I don't think it's an accident, really, that people sort of go back to Lovecraft and Eldritch Horror so much these days because there's a lot of nihilism and a lot of... Uh, fear and hopelessness being thrown around so dealing with themes like losing our humanity and the futility of trying to do something like living or escaping what is ultimately imminent inescapable doom kind of rough times we're living in but i liked it there is such a thing as toxic optimism I don't know if there is a commentary here on the self-help or the feel-good industries, but it wouldn't be difficult to craft one here. There's almost a return to the sea sort of mentality, like when things were simpler and we weren't dealing with certain things on land as the world's dominant species, we might as well just go back to the ocean. That is, if the sea even wants us. But yeah, a lot of heady themes there. A lot of interesting things to think about. Yeah, that was fun. That was cool. So if uh, you would like me to continue doing stuff like this and playing stuff like this and getting freaked out by things that may or may not be old gods from the sea or demon crabs or spa attendants, like and subscribe. Come and hang out. We can talk about the big stuff or we can just... You can just watch a guy in the dark get freaked out by things. I'm going to go to bed. Until next time, friends. Burn out.